2023 presidency, Northerners will never support or vote any Igbo candidate because the Igbos have the culture of killing the Northern, Northern leaders. This is according to Second Republic Senator Junaid Mohammed. He is the member of the House of Representatives of the Second Republic, Mr. Junaid Mohammed, in an interview with independent newspapers a few weeks ago, stated that the Northern Nigeria cannot vote for Igbo presidency in 2023 because the region has the history of killing other people's leaders. Wow. As you all know that the some few Igbos, some Igbos are actually clamoring for this. They think they should be given the opportunity to have a shot at the presidency. He stated that the Southeast made a bad decision to be against every other person but themselves and therefore should not expect other regions to take them serious when it comes to governance. In the interview, the former lawmaker accused Igbos for not showing concrete example of what they will do with power when given such opportunities. Mr. Mohammed said that he is proud to be a Northerner no matter what is anyone says about him. If Northerners have the kind of mindset that the Igbos have, there will never be this Nigeria because overnight those will live with those will live with our leaders, civilians and political and military um, leaders were massacred overnight by the Igbos. Before we give power to them, Igbos, they must demonstrate to us that they are trustworthy, that they are not cunning, they are not greedy. We are not going to give power to people who have a history of killing other people's leader. This is what Junaid said. According to his words, most of the Igbos who have been in government had clearly treated other people unfairly. He made mention of names like former chief of army staff General Azubike Ihejerika, former SGF Senator Anyem Pius Anyem, Francis Mwokedi, and General Agui Inrosi. According to all these men, when they had opportunity to serve Nigeria, either they treated others badly or practiced tribalism at the full Ariaya scale. On Tinubu's presidential ambition, the elder statesman said that he is aware that a lot of people from the West are interested in succeeding Buhari. Mr. Mohammed stated that he does not have any problem with Tinumbu being the president and there is no other person better than Asuaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu in Nigeria for now. On rumors of Buhari's third term agenda, he tagged such statement has not been from a credible source and that such should not be an issue. Now, according to him, when we reach such bridge, we will cross it. It could be recalled that the southeastern part of the country had been in the forefront to ensure they produce the next president since they have not since 1999. Even though some people from the region are advocating for Biafra, a country of their own, the agitators no longer believe in the entity called Nigeria due to perceived marginalization. And um, I, I believe that Nigeria has expired. For those who do not know that Nigeria has expired, I want you to quickly do a few research and um, I want you to type amalgamation, amalgamation of Nigeria. And this amalgamation of Nigeria ended in the year 2014, 1st of January 2014. That is when the amalgamation of the north and the south part of Nigeria expired so why are we still together um even if we have to be together the name nigger area has to be changed and secondly there must be a revisit in fact not a revisit abrogation of this john this constitution that we have in nigeria so as to make room for a better constitution that will put things right in nigeria in nigger area if some will call it nigger area um that that is just the way um, amalgamation came up 1914 when the northern part of nigeria was not seen as viable it wasn't bringing enough resources and money down to the queen the queen of england that is how they built their empire they built it on other people's blood and sweat and their resources and even till now they are still practicing neo neo colonization 
So it is from 1914 to 2014, and that makes it 100 years. 100 years contract that certain groups of people were not called into. It was not an agreement that everybody wanted, but somehow they joined the North and the South together. Until date, we are experiencing a lot of upheaval and a lot of issues, majorly things that have to do with corruption, tribalism, and religious bigotry. That is what it is for now. If you're not a member of this channel, simply tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell. And the notification icon bell will simply alert you whenever our videos are uploaded. Let us grow this channel together. Let us support each other by tapping on the subscription button. It is free. Thanks for stopping by.